Hi, I'd like to talk about pantheism and why I've chosen it as my spiritual belief system. Um, I want to go over the definition of pantheism, I want to talk about how I came to it and what it means to me, and then I want to talk about how it's significant in the current age in, of humanity and why it's important for us to be talking about this type of topic and how it's connected to the evolution of the human um, society as well as the human race. I would like to start by saying that I'm not an expert at this. I, this is my uh, spiritual practice, so I've studied it as much as I can, and I learn more and I adjust my beliefs and my what it means to me and what I understand grows over time. So I'm here today talking just off this, this is not prescripted, as you can tell. I'm just going to talk about this from my heart more than anything. And what I've recently learned, and uh, as a way of just expressing some of these things that I feel to be true with inside myself. So, let me start with defining pantheism. I think most people are familiar with the word, but then they, you don't hear that many people are pantheist. Not many people exclaim that they are pantheists. And uh, even though um, if you interviewed certain people, you would eventually find out that they are pantheist. Pantheism is a spiritual belief that the divine is within all of us, is within the universe. Like the divine life force is an energy that flows through us. And so, It's a way of being connected with the spiritual divine force without connecting it to any kind of mythology or tradition. It's, it's acknowledging that the divine is present, that there is this creator force, and it's miraculous and amazing and unexplainable. But it doesn't need to be turned into a mythology or a story. It's just a part of the reality that we live in. So pantheism is kind of an um, umbrella, and under it you can have specific religions such as paganism is an expression of that, and any earth-based religion, and a lot of Native American religions are pantheists because they worship the earth. So that's an important aspect of pantheism is that where you direct your worship and your spiritual exploration is with the planets, the sun, and the earth, and the earth is thought of as this sacred, alive being that is the, the divine force is abundantly flowing here. So in pantheism, cosmic events are significant. So, for example, the winter solstice is a very significant day for a pantheist because it's the day in which the the, the year changes. It's a, it's a new solar year. And so it's also metaphysically and spiritually significant because from after the winter solstice, every day gets longer, which is kind of like moving into the light and getting moving out of the darkness that we've been entering up until that point. So the, you can see that pantheism is grounded in, in a, a certain kind of truth that science 100% will back it up. Um, it can go off into some more metaphysical stuff such as astrology and uh, the significance of the interpretation of significant cosmic events, which I will go into a little bit later, um, are where you start to go into this realm where science may or may not agree or at least has nothing to say about it. But one of the great things about pantheism is it's grounded in in the science, in the observation of how the planets orbit each other, and that the sun is this beautiful energy source. And that the spiritual practice is connecting with that, connecting with the earth, connecting with what is alive. But the, here's where the significance lies. 2,000 years ago was a time in which Christianity came about, as well as, like, Christianity is the best one to talk about. I know there's a lot going on in that time period, the fall of the Roman Empire, and, and other religions were stepping up too, but Christianity is the one that 
um, was able to kill off and win in, in this spiritual view. So, when Christianity came out, and around that time period, it was a spiritual revolution. I mean, things changed in this period of time, beginning with age, you know, the year zero, <laughs> approximately. And Christianity was really important. It brought people together, it taught morals and ethics, and it gave people a way to point to ethics and morality in a book. Because no, everyone, back then, you, people weren't, didn't have a good grasp about what was right and wrong. And, uh, uh, so they needed to turn to something. They needed to turn to gurus and Jesus and Muhammad and Buddha. So they did during this time. And that was an extremely significant, extremely important to happen. So I'm, for those religions of that time, they were very, very important. And if I was back then, I would be, I would probably be whichever religion was coming out at that time, you know, the most popular one. Um, but over the course of the 2,000 years, you can see that those religions have become a little bit corrupt because they were born at a certain time and they were useful for that time. And their time is coming to an end. And if you, if you study something like Christianity, you have this ancient Bible that's basically not true. And the teachings of it, you could look at it like any other religion and say that it's a mythology. It's a bunch of stories about 2,000 years ago and before that were very useful for that time to teach people. But now it's holding us back. Because people who believe that as truth are not no longer accurate. It's no longer useful. And in, in fact, it's actually pointing humanity in the wrong direction. While pantheism is a solution to this, because pantheism directs your attention at the, the cosmic order, the center of the earth, the solar system, and the sun. It says, here and now, this world is important. Other beings, other sentient beings on this planet are important. Compassion and reason and ethics are all important. They need to be adjusted for the current time, right now. While Christianity and um, many of the other religions all talk about 2,000 years ago. And they can't be updated. They're stuck. They need to die off so that the next age can be born. So that's why it's significant to talk about this type of subject now. So, what, so all of, the, what all of this comes down to is that we're going through a major transition. And as a human race, this is somewhat a race against time. There are two ways that this transition could happen for us. One is that we continue the old ways and we die with the old ways, and what that means is that people stay with a belief system that, such as Christianity, which says God gave us everything and we don't have to do anything. I mean, it's, Christianity has done a lot of good things in the world too, but ultimately the teachings are everything's here for you. You know, it's here for you, but that's not uh, that's not useful now because the world is is dying under the current capitalistic and um, viewpoint that everything's here for us. Um, so, either humanity goes through this transition where we adopt a more pantheistic way of being, connected with the earth, a, a way of ethics that ad adapts to the current circumstances, um, or we, we die, and we die with the old way, from viruses, from um, global warming, environmental catastrophes, all of these things will dramatically kill the human race is a, a large percentage of the human race, um, and from that, whoever survives could rise up um, from there. Or, or we change our ways. So that's why this is important right now. The next generations are going to have to be different than the previous generations. We can't stick to these old teachings that are basically wrong. They're mythologies, and we should talk to the, about them as mythologies. As mythologies, they're valuable. You can see how pantheism is a solution to this major problem that we have, and that this transition we have to go through requires us to have a greater understanding of how the world works and our spiritual connection to it. So I'm going to leave, leave you there with that. Um, 
pantheism is a, a phenomenal spiritual belief system that has deep wisdom that adapts and changes and grows with science and understanding and, and your own inner connection to the beautifulness of nature and the world around us and the living beings we share this planet with. And now is the time for uh, religions and spiritual beliefs uh, such as pantheism and earth-based religions to come back and teach us a new way of being and help humanity correct its ways. Um, and so that's what I, how I view the situation and, and why I'm here now telling you about it.